Hey guys, good evening, and thank you very much for joining today in your session number nine. Así que bienvenidos. ¿Verdad? Today is Monday, June um, 13th, right? And today we're going to continue with, you know, our um, our class. Now, in this case, um, you know, uh, we're going to have a quick review of what we did last week. Uh, especially a little bit about comparative adjectives. And after that, we're going to move and talk a little bit about um, information, you know, from the uh, new um, section, which is section number four. Remember that for this week, right, uh, we have to complete section number four. And then next week, we're going to have section five and the exit, I mean, the final exam. Okay. If it is possible, right, um, you need to um, finish before, right? Hay que terminar antes, ¿verdad? Porque el, el, el módulo en sí cierra un jueves, pero hay que tener todo listo, todo preparado para que, eh, por lo de la beca, ¿verdad? Para que pues usted ya quede legalmente inscrito para el próximo módulo. So, si terminamos, nosotros terminaríamos, ya les digo. We finish on the 23rd, June 23rd, ¿ok? Terminamos un jueves 23, entonces... Para el 20, el lunes 20, ya todo tiene que estar finalizado. Y si es posible antes, right? Así que if you are able to complete that before, that's going to be even better. Okay? Uh, well, guys, as I was saying before, I would like to have a quick review about comparative adjectives. Okay? Now, comparative adjectives, it was a topic that we started last week. ¿Verdad? No lo pudimos como ver así bien bien del todo. Yo les compartí unas reglas para que usted pues las revisara luego, right? Entonces, we're going to check uh, very quickly the same topic, comparative adjectives, and then we're going to move to section number four, okay? So, um, last week I was talking a little bit about some rules, okay? And I'm going to summarize them, you know, with the information that I'm going to share with you. Okay, so comparative adjectives. How do we form comparative statements, right? Now, vamos a ver, ¿quién se recuerda cuáles eran los elementos que necesitábamos para hacer oraciones comparativas? ¿Cuáles eran los tres elementos que necesitábamos? Ajá, ¿alguien se recuerda? What are the three elements that um, that we mentioned last week? We said number one, you know, we have we need a uh, we need two elements to compare, right? Then estamos dos elementos para comparar. Ese es el primero. Okay. In this case, take a look at the examples. It says in Canada, winter is colder than summer, right? So we have winter and summer. We have two things, two elements that we are comparing, okay? And then, right, we need a comparative adjective, right? In this case, a comparative adjective in the example is colder. And in the second example, nicer. Now, uh, that will be the second element. And number three, we said that we need the word then. Right? The word then is the one that helps us to compare, más que, right? So uh, we have also some rules and we were mentioning uh, them last week, right? And the first one says adjectives with one syllable. So I was saying we call them in Spanish eh, monosílabos. Recordemos que no estamos hablando de verbos, so no verbs, right? We're talking about adjectives, no verbs. So if the adjective is a one-syllable verb or, um, perdón, if the adjective is a one-syllable adjective, right, or un adjetivo monosílabo, so all what we have to do is to add ER or R. Ok, so, ¿por qué a veces R teacher? Porque pues si termina en eso, lo necesitamos agregar la R, right? So we have two, cold and nice. Colder than, nicer than. Esa parte específicamente, colder than, nicer than, es, es el, el, el comparativo, 
right? Eso es todo lo que necesitamos para comparar. In Canada, winter is colder than summer and chocolate ice cream is nicer than strawberry ice cream or I can say more delicious as well. So that's about rule number one, okay? ¿Qué sucede cuando tengo otro tipo de adjetivos como los que tengan dos o más sílabas, right? So what do we do in that case, teacher? Well, uh, if we have more than two syllables, más de dos sílabas, ahí solo agregamos more, okay? More. For example, boring, boring, expensive, right? En este caso tenemos dos o más. Boring, two syllables. Expensive, three syllables, right? More boring than and more expensive than, okay? I think golf is more boring than baseball and this restaurant is more expensive than that restaurant, right? Entonces, generalmente, chicos, la primera, que es esta, para los verbos monosílabos, Casi todos caen en esa categoría, right? But if it has two or more, si ya se pasa de dos, o de dos o más, perdón, entonces vamos a usar more, okay? And then also we mentioned another rule, y era la que terminaban, los que terminaban en Y, right? So adjectives with two syllables that end in Y, we have to change the Y to an I, or in Latina, as we know it in Spanish. And then we add ER plus then. For example, early and happy. Okay? Now, tiene que tener una consonante antes, right? Si no tiene una consonante antes, entonces va a ser un poco difícil de aplicar esta regla. Prácticamente no podríamos. It has to be preceded by a consonant. Earlier than and happier than. Right? So, as you can see, we switch, right? We change the Y to an I, and then we add ER. He arrived at a school earlier than I did. And John looks happier than David, right? So in that case, we are using adjectives with I, and that's all we have to do, okay? To apply that rule specifically, okay? And then the last one. Esa la dejé al final porque no quería confundirla con la primera. And guys, we were saying that sometimes we need adjectives. You know, we have adjectives that are C, V, C, consonant, vowel, consonant, right? So when the adjective ends with a single vowel and a consonant, right, we double the final letter before adding then. Ok, pero si quieren guiarse mejor por lo que eh, hablamos la semana pasada, right? Si tiene consonante, vocal consonante, right? So let's go ahead and put it here, right? So if we have C plus um, B plus C, right? Consonant, vowel, consonant. So you have to double the last consonant and then you add ER to the verb, I mean to the adjective, ok? No sé, chicos, si hay alguna pregunta de esto que vimos la semana pasada. Questions? Questions? Okay. And well, last but not least, right, we have um, the irregular forms, right? When a comparative statement is used to answer a question, right? It's not necessary to use then if we only, if, if, if only one person, place or thing is, uh, you know, mentioned. Si me preguntan, which month is better or which month is hotter, January or August? Si me están haciendo la pregunta, yo no necesito decir, uh, August is hotter than January, right? No, all what I can do is to answer just as simple as that, August is hotter. And that's it, right? And also don't forget that we have, you know, irregular comparative adjectives como good, que es better, bad, que es words, and far, which further and further, okay? So guys, I don't know if you have uh, any questions. Preguntas antes de hacer el ejercicio que vamos a hacer ahorita. ¿O están claras las reglas? Are they clear? 
Okay, very good. So if they are, let's go ahead and make up some sentences. And let's compare, vamos a comparar, okay? So let's practice a little bit. Now guys, here we have two elements. We have cats and dogs. So what sentence can you tell me comparing cats and dogs? Please raise your hand, right, if you want to participate. Vilma Gladys, fíjese que su micrófono se está activando a cada, en, a cada minuto, entonces me toca estarlo como silenciando. Just be careful, right? Um, no sé, chicos, alguien que tenga un ejemplo con cats and dogs with comparative adjectives. No, no, ya bien. Hoy. Vilma Gladys, Cartagena. Sí, ¿Ah? Lo de hoy. Su micrófono está activado. ¿Qué y... tiene que oírla a ella? Creo que no nos oyen, ¿verdad? Okay, so cats and dogs. Aha, dígame, Lorena. Could be the cat prettier than. Perdón, dogs. the cats. The cats are uh -huh. prettier mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. dog. Dogs. Dogs. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, at the beginning, you said the phrase, it could be, right? So it could be, muy bien. And then cats, the cats. Now, in this case, the cats, right? I wouldn't use the article the, because actually that's a definite article, ¿verdad? Cuando nosotros usamos el artículo definido es porque vamos a hablar de un grupo específico, right? For example, in this case, we're talking about things in general. O sea, los gatitos y los perros en general. Entonces, no lo necesito acá, ¿verdad? Comienzo directamente con cats are prettier than dogs. But if I want to use the, the um, definite article, the, right? Yo puedo decir the cats, okay, um, at my mom's, my mom's house are prettier than mine, right? Ahí sí. Yo digo, the cats at my mom's house. Los gatos de en la casa de mi mamá. O sea, ese grupo específico de gatos. The cats at my mom's house are prettier than mine or than my cats, right? So in that case, I'm talking about a, a specific group. But if I'm talking about things in general, I don't need to use a definite article. Very good, excellent. Okay, teacher. Excellent, thank you, Lorena. Someone else, another example with cats and dogs? Another example with cats and dogs? Okay, uh, let's see, what about Cecilia Romero? Cecilia Romero, are you here? Cecilia Romero? Hi, teacher. Hi, Cecilia, tell Hi. me. Tell me an example using comparative adjectives with cats and dogs. Y luego me, me ayuda usted, Raquel Santos, please, después de, de ella. Okay. Sí, está bien. Ya salió ya la clase. Y está participando en la clase. ¿Cómo se dice con el sí, sí, bien, guys. Está activado, dice. ¿Cómo se dice con el inglés? Es lo están escribiendo. ¿Cómo se dice con el inglés? Guys, no, no be careful with the, with, the, with, the, with the microphone, ¿ok? Vilma Gladys, ¿crees que puedes activar su, su micrófono, por favor? De, de Rabbit. Ajá. No, rabbit. No, rabbit. en este caso son cats sí. and dogs, right? Ajá. Estamos comparando gatitos y perros. Ah, eh, siempre con cat y dogs. And dogs. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Entonces, eh, dogs. Uh -huh. Dogs are. Yes. Uh, big, bigger, bigger. Uh -huh. Thanks. Sun. Uh, Cats. Very good. Correct. Right. Okay. So in size, dogs okay. are bigger than cats. Thank you so much. Eh, Raquel Santos, what about you? 
for example, we talk about um, cute, cuter. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. My cat is more cuter than my sister dog. Okay. Bye. Aquí, Raquel, tell me, what is, uh, what is something that shouldn't be there? ¿Qué es lo que no debería estar ahí? My cat. It's my cat. Ah, perdón, my cat. Ajá. Ahí le, error de more. la teacher. Muy bien, more. ¿Por qué? More. Es redundante. Exacto. Porque ya okay. eh, apliqué, ¿verdad? Ahí, cuter. Y no solo por eso, sino okay. también porque usamos more solo con adjetivos que tengan más de dos eh, sílabas, de dos en adelante, right? Oh, Entonces, yes. En cuter. este caso, my cat is cuter than my sister's dog. Very good. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Raquel. Now, guys, what about the next one? What about this one? Television and YouTube. What sentences can we make, you know, from these two elements? Television and YouTube. Mm -hmm. An example? Raise your hand if Teacher, you want. I have a doubt. Yeah. Dígame, dígame, Lorraine. Uh, the word cuter uh, no se escribe con doble T. Cute. No. Mm, I don't think so. Because it's cute. Uh -huh, cute. Porque cutter significa otra cosa. Cutter. Eh, por ejemplo, si yo lo hago con doble T. ¿Verdad? Ese uh -huh. es otra palabra. Es un uh, cutter like this. Okay. Uh -huh. Only one entonces. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo con uno. Uh -huh. okay. Ese es un cutter. Se convierte en cutter and en scooter. Ya, yeah. y, y entiendo que usted me lo diga por, eh, por lo de la regla, ¿verdad? Me imagino. Sí, teacher, por consonant, vowel, consonant, por eso mm -hmm. pensé que era. <laughs> yeah, no, Pero in no. That, yeah, in that case, when it comes to cute, right, the, 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 the word cute, Remember that eh, se escribe cute, así. Entonces termina en E, solo le agrego R, cuter, right? Uh -huh. Entonces, I don't need to double it, porque el, en sí el verbo es cut, pero estamos hablando solo de adjetivos, ¿verdad? Entonces, si fuese un verbo, ¿verdad? Ahí sí sería diferente, pero como cut es irregular, es cut, cut, cut. Pero, eh, Forma base, pasado y pasado participio, ¿verdad? Entonces, no aplica. Pero como eh, esta palabra es un adjective, solo agregamos R y ahí tenemos yeah. cuter. Ok, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Ok, eh, tell me, Erika. Ok. Um, YouTube, YouTube is better than television. Ok. Very good. YouTube is better than television. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you, Erika. Christian, what about you? Uh, the television is older than YouTube. Okay. Uh, television is older than YouTube. Very good. Uh -huh. What else, guys? What else can you tell me about, you know, comparing television and YouTube. Any other example? Okay, no more examples. Oh, well, so in that case, uh, Erika says YouTube is better than television. It could be right, actually. In my case, I barely watch TV, guys. I mean, I don't know, I've been without TV, well, just Netflix, right? Uh, and if I want to watch something, I will probably look for it, you know, on the internet, but I don't watch TV that much. Um, currently I'm watching, again, one series uh, in Netflix, but only that, I mean, yeah, 
I don't watch TV. So I think I think also YouTube is better than television because in YouTube, you just look for the documentary for the topic that you're looking for. And then you find a lot of options, right? So it's I think it's better. And then television is older than YouTube, right? Of course, um, YouTube is a, an application that you know, um, it's not that old and that has evolved, right? And it has become a very, very popular uh, streaming platform. Okay, excellent. Now, in my case, also, what can I say? Probably YouTube is more popular, right? Than, oops, than television right? YouTube is more popular than television, okay? Now, let's go ahead and continue with the next one. What about this one, guys? Hamburger and pizza, okay? What do you think about these two words? What sentences can we make up? Hamburger and pizza. Any example that you can think of? Okay, Erika, tell me. And then Lorena. Oh, bueno, no sé si. Ah, bueno, ah, que se había quedado la mano levantada, Erika. Dígame, Lorena. Hamburger mm -hmm. is more delicious than pizza. Okay, very good. Hamburger is more delicious than pizza. Okay. Very good. Any other opinion on hamburgers and pizza? Any other opinions? No one else? Okay. So actually, Lorena, I think I agree with you. <laughs> I think I agree with you because actually, I mean, I like pizza and I like hamburgers, but being honest, I feel more comfortable, you know, eating hamburgers because a hamburger contains, you know, even some vegetables. You can add tomato, you can add, uh, you know, some other things. But pizza contains a lot of cheese and a lot of, you know, uh, fats, right? So mm, I prefer hamburger because also I like French fries. Okay. So thank you so much. Dígame, Raquel. Uh, the past eh, sería faster, teacher. Fast, faster, yeah. Fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think mo some pizzas are faster than some hamburger. Oh, when you say faster, what do you mean? Uh, ¿En qué sentido faster? Eh, grasoso. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, that would be, uh, that's different. Fast is eh, rápido, faster. Ah, ajá, sí. eh, fat es grasa. O sea, no lo fat. podríamos ajá, comparar porque no. es un noun. Ajá. Okay. Pero podemos no. buscar un adjetivo and I think is this one. Bear with me. Aquí está. Eh, probably we can use eh, greasy. Greasy. Covered mm -hmm. with uh -huh, or resembling an oily substance, and this one is an adjective, right? Ese sí okay. es un adjetivo. Es como grasoso, grasiento, dice acá. Pero la palabra que usted me decía era fat. Fat de rápido, es cierto. Ajá, y pensé también que se refería a fat como grasa, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Entonces, that, that this one is a noun. Ese es un nombre, entonces. Y mm -hmm. también está aquí como adjective, pero es diferente porque... Okay. Ajá, it's, it's, about, it's about size, es sobre, uh -huh. sobre peso. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces, um, we're going to use greasy probably. So hamburger, oh, let's see. Vamos a ver, hamburger is, uh, si es greasy, it has more, right? Greasy tiene dos. I think we can change it, but bear with me.
Vale. En este caso, it ends in y. Apliquémosle la regla. Eh, sería is greasier, right? Vamos a escribirlo acá. Greasier than pizza, right? Podríamos decir así, hamburger. O me dijo pizza is, is greasier than hamburger, right? Than pizza, ajá. Ajá, ok. Vale, cambiémoslo acá. Pizza is greasier than hamburger. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you for your example. Thank you so much. Dígame, Cecilia. Sí, teacher, no sé si cabería aquí este ejemplo. Pizza is more harmful than hamburger. Is more what? I'm sorry. Is more harmful, uh, dañina. Harmful. Oh, harmful. harmful. Yeah, harmful. harmful. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then, hamburger. Okay, so pizza is it's har more harmful, as you said before, than hamburger, right? Más dañina. Okay. It's more. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or you can say also like pizza is um, what? No, porque dangerous, no, como que fuera gran amenaza, ¿verdad? No, está bien que sea teacher, teacher, yeah. I have a question. Yes. Eh, ah, estoy recordando yo, podemos usar less. Pizza is less health than hamburger. Exactly. We can say pizza Or less. is less. Is correct. Sí, está bien. Is less healthier or less um, healthier than hamburger, right? Es menos. Eh, saludable, less healthier than a hamburger. Yeah, we can use that. Porque ya para el, para el superlativo es least, right? Pero para comparativo es less. Mm -hmm. Así que podemos decir pizza is less healthier than a hamburger. And you're still comparing, todavía sigue comparando, right? Um, and also you can apply the rule, right, to the adjective. In this case, the adjective is healthy. Right. Ahí está. Healthy would be the adjective, and then you apply the rule. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I, if that would be okay. No sé si es la oración que me decía Lorena. Yes, teacher, it's correct. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so look at, bueno, in my case, less, it's less healthier. No, 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 no tendría que no. aplicar la regla. Mm -mm. No, y aquí me falta nada, por cierto. Pizza is less healthy than hamburger. Menos saludable. Sí, tiene que quedar así. Mm -hmm. Porque yo no, ya luego, al usar less, Estoy aplicando eh, siempre una comparación, right? Entonces, no necesitaría aplicar la regla al final. My, my bad. Uh -huh. So, pizza is less healthy than hamburger. Es menos saludable que la hamburguesa. Uh -huh. yeah. Ya no usaríamos el, el, la terminación ER. Uh -huh. No, ahí quedaría less healthy uh -huh. okay. than hamburger. Yeah. It's a different way, you know, of comparing, but it's valid too. Es diferente, pero siempre es válido. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Any other example, guys, or any other question? Eduardo, dígame. Uh, I, I prefer to eat pizza than hamburger. Okay, very good. ¿Y cómo lo podríamos comparar? Um, so you said that you prefer pizza, right? Yes, I, I, I prefer to eat pizza than hamburger. So, estoy mm -hmm. diciendo, prefiero, prefiero la pizza que la, la hamburguesa. Muy bien, pero ahí no estamos comparando, ¿verdad? Solo estamos expresando lo que nos gusta y lo que no nos gusta. Entonces, para, comparar, more. para comparar necesitamos un adjetivo comparativo. Okay? Eso es lo más importante en la comparación. Por ejemplo, acá en la primera es greasier, luego 
more harmful, and then we have less healthy, right? So in your case, ¿por qué le gusta más la pizza que la hamburguesa? Why? Sí, sí, ya entendí, se me quedó el, el adjetivo. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, I prefer... En este caso, I prefer, lo podemos dejar de lado. La pregunta uh -huh. es, ¿por qué le gusta más la pizza que la hamburguesa? Why? I like a cheese. Ok, you like cheese. Ok, ¿y qué adjetivo le daría usted a una pizza? Si usted ve, las compara las dos, ¿qué adjetivo le daría usted a una pizza? Tendría que ser... Um, no, ahorita yo le ayudo. Podría decir es eh, sabrosa. Ah, muy bien. Ok, en este caso pues o se le usa porque es, es más, eh, it's more delicious, right? Okay. Entonces, you can say pizza is more delicious than hamburger. Ok, so esa es la razón por la que usted prefiere la, la pizza, right? So you can say something like, I prefer, oops, I prefer pizza. Ok, because, right, because, y ella no necesita usar pizza porque ya lo mencioné, uh -huh. because it is more delicious than hamburger. I prefer pizza because it is more delicious than hamburgers, right? In okay. that case, you are comparing. Ahí ya está comparando, ¿verdad? Y como ya mencionó pizza anteriormente, lo puede sustituir por un, por un pronombre. Acá, dígame, este, Lorena. Ok, thank you, teacher. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you, Eduardo. Another example t-shirt could good. be pizza is cheaper ah, muy bien. than hamburger. Mm -hmm. Very good. And that's true, right? Pizza sometimes is cheaper than hamburgers because generally a hamburger, you know, it's a, well, if you include a you know, um, I would say good size hamburger, right? And if you include the beverage like soda or iced tea, and if you include the French fries, and if you include something extra, so that will be around seven dollars, right? So between six and seven dollars minimum, unless you buy the one ninety nine, you know, um, uh, hamburger, right? And that that. Uh, helps you a little bit, you know, with um, that um, crave, but I said the sale crave for, for, for hamburgers. But yeah, definitely, sometimes pizza is cheaper than hamburger. Very good. Okay, so now what about the next example? What about this one? Coffee and milk. Coffee and milk. What can you tell me about these two words or these two different? Beverages, right? Coffee and milk. Dígame, dígame, Erika. <laughs> Coffee is more delicious <laughs> than milk. <laughs> Very good. Coffee <laughs> is more delicious than milk. Okay, so you are a teacher, right, Erika? Yeah. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> I totally it's get necessary. it. <laughs> yeah. In the morning, right, you need a cup of coffee um, because that will help you a lot. <laughs> well, in my experience, you know, tengo muy, bueno, muy poca experiencia haría yo en colegio, right? Yeah. Pero I remember, yo recuerdo que that was, you know, uh, something that I needed to drink in the morning. Yes. Um, yeah. It's you really, really need it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Very good, Erika. So yeah, coffee is more delicious than milk. And sometimes you can add some milk to the coffee, right? Casi nadie lo hace, pero you can add some milk to coffee if you want. Si quiere evitar la cremora, which I think it's more harmful, right? Than uh, milk. Okay. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer or any other example? Examples? Okay, Eduardo, dígame. Um, 
coffee is cheaper than <laughs> milk. Okay, very Time. good. Oops. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> coffee is cheaper than milk. Yeah, guys, it's true. You know, I mean, even if you want to buy the little boxes, you know, doubt that it's more expensive, you know, than um, a coffee sachet. I don't know how they call it in Spanish. Uh, la posita, verdad? The, you know, the packages, the little packages where you can find some coffee. And definitely it's more expensive. And also, you know, if you want to buy milk, you need, you have to buy it in those uh, presentations, right? Like big, medium, or small. Tia, me, Cristian. Cristian? Oh. Se equivocó, no. <laughs> Dígame, Raquel. Uh, milk is healthier than coffee. Ah, ok. Perdón. Milk is... Oops. Hello, hello. Sí, ya le escuché. Milk is, milk is healthier than coffee. Ok, very good. I disagree a little bit because I think coffee is healthier than milk, but not pretty sure. Nah. No sé, no sé, that's what comes to my mind, right? But a lot of people recommend drinking milk. Pero both have benefits. Los dos tienen beneficios, tanto el café como la leche para la salud, right? But I will go probably with coffee. <laughs> Me inclino más al café. But thank you so much. Eh, dígame, Raquel. For example, could be the milk is likelier than the coffee at night. Okay, milk is... Like this, lighter? Lightlier. Lightlier. Like, the like. Eh, is, más. Is como, um, gust apropiado, like. Likelier. Ah, it, you're saying more likely? Likely. Like mm, this? Than the coffee at night. Pero así como yo lo escribí? Sí. Okay. Now, more likely is, it has another meaning. More likely significa otra cosa. More likely es, por ejemplo, um, si usted me pregunta, eh, teacher, do you think it will rain tonight? Right, si usted me pregunta, do you think it will rain tonight, teacher? Or do you think it is going to rain tonight? Ahí usted escoja cuál de todos puede usar. Vengo yo y le digo, most likely. Most likely quiere decir muy probablemente. Okay. Yeah, most likely. Look at the sky. It is cloudy. We don't have stars, you know, clouds everywhere and it's raining. Entonces, most likely, muy probablemente. Y more likely podría ser um, something like, Déjeme pensar. More likely. Es algo, algo más. Es more than likely. Porque es como muy probable, ¿verdad? Ah, ya sé. Por ejemplo, eh, students. Ups, perdón. Students are more likely to finish the exercises the exercises in the platform uh, at the end of the module right at the end of the module the students are more likely to finish the exercises in the platform at the end of the module right entonces los estudiantes son es muy probable que ellos eh, terminen los ejercicios al final de la plataforma hasta el final del módulo, right? Entonces, that's, that has a different, uh, a different uh, meaning, right? Y el significado es muy probable, right? The students are more likely to finish the exercises, right? Es muy probable okay. que ellos finalicen. Uh -huh. Le voy a pasar una definición para okay. que le quede ahí en el chat. You're welcome. Ahí está, o more likely. En ese caso, likelier. Uh -huh, likelier. Ok. 
yo lo escuché a ella, light, como more light, es más así como más suave para el estómago, right? I thought um, that that was the, um, the, the adjective. That's why I was okay. saying, aha, uh -huh, acá, eh, milk is light. Light. Light is lighter than coffee at night, right? At night. Uh -huh. Como más, es menos pesado, ¿verdad? Es más así, más ligero. Lighter okay. than coffee, oops, coffee at night. Uh -huh. Very good, thank you so much. Y dice Vilma Gladys, I would like coffee with milk, please. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> coffee, más que todo. I really wanted to drink a cup of coffee. De verdad, quería tomarme una taza de café en la cena, pero no, chicos, I can't. I can't and... Otherwise, I, would, I, I wouldn't be able to sleep, ¿ok? Y si alguna vez se pregunta, bueno, ¿y por qué siento que duermo y no descanso? Me levanto con sueño y siento como que, decía mi abuelita, como que me, me dieran una paliza. Y de repente uno dice, ¿y qué es lo que sé? ¿Qué es lo que toma? Perdón, uno le pregunta, ¿y qué es lo que toma en la cena? Una taza de café y uno, ¡ay! That's why es por eso, right? <risa> uh -huh. Imagine, yeah, I mean, if you drink coffee at, at night, There will be consequences, right? No las podemos notar a veces, pero su cerebro pobrecito se queda ahí con todo ese montón de cafeína que no haya para dónde enviarla. Ok, así que don't drink coffee at night. Drink tea or drink some water or drink something else, right? But no coffee. Ok, so thank you so much. Y más que hoy el clima se prestaba, ¿verdad? It was rainy and I really wanted to drink a cup of coffee, but now I couldn't. T-shirt, T-shirt, the, the last one example could Dígame. be coffee, coffee is harder than milk. Muy bien, it's harder than milk. I mean, in that case, uh, of course, I mean, generally coffee, you serve it, but it has to be very hot, right? So you can enjoy it. But milk, you can drink it, you know, um, cool, verdad, así como uh, fría, or even with uh, iced, right? So that's true. Thank you so much. Raquel, no sé si tenía otra participación, o Eduardo, que tenía, tiene las manos levantadas. No, teacher. Thank okay, you. you're welcome. Okay, don't worry. Thank you so much. And then uh, I think I have one more. Permítame, chicos, solo voy a cerrar aquí. Se han abierto varias ventanas. Ok, muy bien, sigamos. Then the next one is math and English, guys. Math and English. So what sentence can you tell me comparing these two different subjects? Math and English. Dígame, Lorena. English is easier than math <laughs> for me. Very good. English is easier than math. Very good. Erika, tell me. Erika? I think you're a mute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> How do you say opuesto? Opposite. Opposite. It's opposite. Uh, the math is, is more difficult or uh -huh. only difficult? No, more difficult in this more case. More difficult? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Than English. <laughs> Than English, okay. For me. <laughs> no, and, and, and actually, yeah, of course, math is not easy, right? So math is more difficult than English and English is easier than math. Okay, yeah, kind of similar because uh, we are against math, right? Okay, uh -huh. very good. Excellent. What about the rest? Any other example that you can give? Thank you, Erika. Okay. Any other example? Let's see, bear with me. Well, can I, what can I say, guys? Um, what I would say is English is more interesting, right? <laughs> it's more interesting than math, okay? Obviously, because I'm, I mean, I like the language, right? Pero para alguien que le encante la mate va a decir, no, math is more interesting than English, right? 
No, I mean, I like the language. Me gusta el idioma. Y pues, I think it's, it's very interesting, right? Pero si tengo que elegir entre las dos, I will have to say English is more interesting than math, right? I will run away from math, okay? Very good. Now, the next one, breakfast and dinner. Breakfast and dinner. So what do you think, guys? Veamos acá, any sentence? Mm -hmm. Examples? Yes, is more uh, important. <laughs> okay, eso está bien en la mente. Breakfast is more important. Oops. Important than dinner, he says. Okay, very good. Yeah, in a way. It is true, right? Breakfast is more important than dinner. Um, yeah, because that's your first meal, right? First, oops, first ay, meal. La primera comida, meal es comida, ¿verdad? So that's the first meal, right? So breakfast is more important than dinner. But it depends, right? Because if you don't have breakfast, more well, probably your, I mean, the most important uh, for you will be lunch, right? Lunch is more important than dinner, etc. So that's the first meal. What other example can you tell me, guys, with breakfast and dinner? Hmm. Well, in my case, what I can think of is breakfast. <laughs> I breakfast is more appealing. I think it's the adjective. Let me confirm. Appealing. Más llamativo, al menos para mí, right? And dinner because Sometimes I don't have dinner. Algunas veces si no, no ceno because no siento que necesite comida en ese momento. But eh, sometimes I do, right? El problema de también no cenar es que va a pasar con cuantas como ocho horas sin comer, verdad? O más. Entonces, your body, uh, you know, may need some uh, minerals or vitamins, you know. Sí, es así, appealing. It's more appealing. Eh, appealing, guys, ¿qué significa appealing? En inglés significa attractive or interesting. Eso significa, ¿ok? Entonces, para mí es más atractivo el desayuno que, el, que la cena. So, breakfast is more appealing than dinner. ¿Ok? Y también dinner, it's very difficult to find, you know, combinations, right? To, to have dinner. Dígame, Cecilia. Yes, teacher. Uh, dinner is lighter than breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry. Dinner is? Uh, lighter, como liviano. Lighter, como liviano. okay, than mm -hmm. breakfast. breakfast. Okay, very good. Dinner is lighter than breakfast. Or at least it should be, o al menos así debería ser, chicos, right? Dinner should be lighter than the breakfast. I mean, breakfast... It would depend on you, depende de ustedes, ¿verdad? Porque si, si su estómago, pues, eh, está tranquilo con un desayuno completo, that's fine. Pero a veces es al revés. Hay gente que necesita un light breakfast. So, sometimes for people, the breakfast is lighter than dinner. Porque en la mañana el estómago no, no puede recibir mucho. En algunas personas. In my case, either or. <laughs> Cualquiera de las dos works for me, ¿verdad? Thank you. Dígame, Raquel. For example, hot cake is more suitable for the breakfast than, than the dinner. Yeah. Okay. I agree. So can you repeat it? Pancakes? Pancakes? Oops. Pardon. Oh, hot cake. Hot cakes. Okay. Hot cakes. Uh-huh. Is more suitable. Uh-huh. Is more uh -huh. suitable. For the breakfast mm -hmm. than dinner. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a hacer algunas cositas con esta oración. Pero, pero está muy, muy bien la idea. Muy bien. So, hot cakes. Hot okay. cakes. Is it singular or plural? 
singular. Hotcakes. Ah, uh, it's plural. Mm -hmm. mm, it's so in that case, are, hotcakes are. are more suitable for the breakfast than dinner. So in that case, mm -hmm. what el what elements can we el eliminate from here? De. Muy bien. Exactly, because I'm not talking about something specifically, right? So hotcakes mm -hmm. are more suitable for breakfast than for dinner, ¿ok? Muy, muy bien, right? Muy bien. Aquí, pues, estamos comparando eh, los dos, breakfast and dinner, de una forma diferente, ¿verdad? Porque son más apropiados. They are more suitable for breakfast than for dinner. Muy bien. A veces, chicos, y eso es importante, y thank you for the example, Raquel, eh, vamos a poder, nosotros podemos comparar y podemos seguir otro tipo de, de estructuras, ¿verdad? No necesariamente this and that, it's bigger than, or it's hotter than, or it's cheaper than, right? There are many ways so you can express, you know, comparison as well. Y esa es una de ellas. Más adelante pues van a poder seguir viendo muchas más porque hay varias, ¿ok? So, that's correct. And then, I don't know if I have something else. Let's see. I, do, I think I do. What about this one? Motorcycles and cars. Motorcycles and cars. Examples? Motorcycles and cars. Can you think of an example? Oh, dígame Francis y luego Lorena. Um, could be motorcycles and are more dangerous than cars. Okay, motorcycles are more dangerous than cars. Mm, yeah. It could be, right? Especially in El Salvador. Thank you very much. Eh, Lorena y luego Erika. Could be motorcycles are. I. Exciting. Exciting. More exciting. More exciting than cars. <laughs> <laughs> than cars. Yes. Actually, I imagine, you know, it could be the case. So motorcycles are more exciting than cars. Muy bien. Erika, dígame. I think you're a mute, Erika. Cars are more expensive than motorcycles. Muy bien. Cars are more expensive. Oops. More expensive than motorcycles. Muy bien. Very good. Y hay uno ahí que dice Galaxy A20S, etc. No sé quién es. Brigitte, ah, ya vi, Brigitte Erazo, ok. Brigitte, tell me. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, cars is more comfortable than motorcycles. Ok, car is more comfortable. Comfortable than motorcycles. Motorcycles. Aquí nada más al principio, muy bien, Brigitte. Aquí nada más hay que pluralizarlo, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de dos plurales. So, cars are more, ¿verdad? Cars are more comfortable than motorcycles. Y sí, definitivamente creo que sí. Nunca me he subido a una moto, pero I think cars are more, you know, comfortable than motorcycles. No me llama la atención la motorcycle, ¿verdad? Así que, thank you so much. And, no sé, Erika, si tenía otra participación o se le quedó la manita levantada. No, no, se me quedó la manita. Bye. <laughs> Cristian, ¿tenía alguna participación? Perdón. No, okay. Okay, I I think it's a no. <laughs> okay, so the last one, guys, el último, el último. What about this one? Listening and reading. Listening and reading in English. What comparison um, can we get from listening and reading in English? Mm -hmm. Listening and reading. Examples, examples. And could be 
-hmm. Listening is more, is more, listening is more easy mm -hmm. than reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Now, in este caso, Francis, ¿cuál sería el problemita con el adjetivo comparativo acá? Usted me dice, is more easy. Eh, ¿Cómo podríamos reparar eso, Francis? Eh, easier. Ah, muy bien, excelente. Easier, right? Porque en este caso, pues, tiene solamente dos sílabas, termina en Y. Entonces, yo solo tengo que eliminarla, agregar una I latina, and then ER. So, listening is easier than reading. Okay, thank you so much. Any other example? Any other example, guys? Dígame, Esmeralda. Reading is more important than listening. Reading is more important than listening. Okay, very good, of course. Por supuesto, opiniones, ¿verdad? That's your opinion. Thank you so much. Reading is more important than listening. Okay. Uh, one more example. Uno más, chicos. One more. No more? Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, I like to sentence listening is easier than reading. Reading is more important than listening, okay? And well, actually both of them are important, right? Listening and reading, okay? Uh, a través de listening, pues, that will help you a lot to understand what other people say and also reading because you can get vocabulary words from reading. Muy bien. Bueno, chicos, les voy a pasar todos los ejemplos que vimos para que los tengan ahí en el chat. Y también les voy a compartir en un momento las reglas que les, que les, que les compartí acá. Permítanme, solo se los voy a hacer para acá. Es que no deja compartir todo de un solo. Vamos a poner esta acá primero. Y luego acá. Uh -huh. Y por último, esto. Listo. Vaya, bueno, chicos, ahí les dejo los ejemplos. Ustedes solo abran el chat y tomen captura de pantalla para que les queden a ustedes los ejemplos. Muy bien. Entonces, that is a review about comparative adjectives, ¿verdad? Pues ya, ahorita nos faltan ya solo unos cuatro minutos para terminar, pero vamos a dejar la introducción de lesson four, I mean, de uh, section four. Para esta semana, chicos, eso es lo que tenemos que trabajar. Tenemos que trabajar section four, ¿verdad? Porque es la que, eh, la sección que nos corresponde para esta semana. Entonces, ahorita les voy a compartir eh, lo que es el banner, ¿verdad? Para eh, esta semana, que es exactamente, pues, esa parte en la que vamos a trabajar. Igual, si usted tiene preguntas, ¿verdad? No olvide hacerlas siempre durante la primera media hora de la clase para poder contestar todas las preguntas. Eh, revisen bien, ¿verdad? Toda eh, la sección para ver si, pues, usted tiene preguntas con mucho gusto, pues, aquí se las contesto. What is the lesson objective? If you see the lesson objective for this particular lesson is, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation conversation expressing likes and dislikes. So here we have a conversation, guys, and pretty much what we're going to review is just present simple. ¿Qué vamos a revisar? Present simple nuevamente. ¿Y cuáles preguntas, teacher? Esta sección se trata de yes, no questions and information questions. Those two questions, ¿ok? Entonces, por eso es que a mí al principio me gusta explicar present simple de forma completa, porque ya aquí solo vamos a hacer un repaso, un review de lo que ya vimos acerca de yes, no questions and information questions, ¿verdad? Porque ya también sabemos la fórmula que vamos a utilizar para hacer yes, no questions and information questions. Decíamos que the difference between the two types of questions is that yes, no questions, they begin directly from the, uh, from the auxiliary. ¿Verdad? Cabal del auxiliar, ahí comienza la fórmula la, para las yes, no questions. Pero si son information questions, ¿ok? Es esa fórmula, ¿verdad? Que inicia con el, el auxiliar más las WH words o decíamos WH phrases, ¿ok? So here, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to express 
likes and dislikes. Hay muchas formas de expresar lo que nos gusta y lo que no nos gusta, right? Así que mañana pues vamos a hacer, vamos a pasar directamente a esta sección y también vamos a hablar un poquito sobre cómo expresar our likes and dislikes, ¿ok? Now, para la plataforma, chicos, como les repito, ¿verdad? Esta semana nos corresponde la sección 4, right? La sección 4. Y nada más decirles, ¿verdad? Que yo sé que terminamos el jueves 23, pero a más tardar es el lunes o el, el, el sí, es el lunes o el viernes antes de esa semana. Yo recomiendo eh, que finalice pues esa sección, ¿verdad? Todo para que ya quede usted listo o lista para ser inscrito en el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Y así pues no haya ningún, ningún problema. Eh, esta sección, ¿verdad? Esta es la sección 4, es la sección que vamos a estar viendo el día de mañana, right? And we're going to talk a little bit about, eh, about music and about likes and dislikes. Así que mañana, si es posible, pues véngase listo para hablar sobre sus gustos Y pues las cosas que no mucho le gustan también para entrar a los breakout rooms. Así que, guys, I'm going to stop here. Me detengo acá. But I'll see you tomorrow, right, with a section, I mean, session number 10, con la sección, sesión 10. Así que, good night. Good night and thank you very much for joining. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye. See, you tomorrow. see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye.